We like to talk about data-driven companies. And Arkansas is blessed with some of the largest data-driven companies in the world. And, and the root of that is in Northwest Arkansas. The employers need to have additional IT talent to maintain their business, to grow their business, to keep their business secure. Arkansas Center for Data Science, we call it ACDS, the genesis was the fact that we have much more demand for IT skills than we have current supply. There was this gap between demand for technology skills, the amount of people that had capability to be able to assist business, and we needed to have an organization that didn't just continue to talk about the gap, but rather talk about what were some innovative ways to begin to address that problem. Everything starts with the employers. The employers have the demand, they need the skills, they have jobs that are available. There's probably 10 jobs for every one candidate. Whereas most other occupations, if you're going through school, getting your degree, you're probably faced with 10 people looking for that same one job that you are. The employers, when we started to talk to them a little over two years ago, it took a little while for them to understand that the traditional pathways saying, I want a computer science degreed person with five years of experience, those people already have jobs. But we asked them to open up the aperture of candidate requirements and look at individuals that may not have a four-year degree. They certainly wouldn't have a four-year degree in computer science, but they do have the potential and the aptitude. We've, we've increased that funnel to include people coming back from the, the military, women, minorities, who are very underrepresented in the profession of IT. 45, 50-year-old career changers. We have applicants that are 18 to 19-year-old non-college goers. Every one of those groups is a candidate for our process. The, uh, the registered apprenticeship program for most people means we're training you know, plumbers and carpenters and uh, construction labor. But uh, a number of years ago, the Department of Labor said we ought to be able to do this in the IT technology professions. The, the employer hires the individual on day one. The employer uh, communicates the specific skills that they need these individuals to acquire, knowing that they may not have them day one. And we provide training customized for each employer. And the uh, registered apprenticeship program lasts one year. Somebody is gonna get two things that are gonna happen at the same time. Related training instruction to be able to, in a customized way, build skills but they're gonna get the chance within context to apply that immediately on the job. So those two things come together in a registered apprenticeship program. So what we've done at the Arkansas Center for Data Sciences is we've said that at the intersection of capability and opportunity lies the road to success. What we mean by that is that we're spending a significant amount of time helping individuals to build their capability. But we wouldn't do that with no sight set on whether or not there truly was the demand or the opportunity for them to be able to what? To get the job. 